If I can't help other people or change someone's life, then I feel like my life really don't have a lot of meaning. Yeah, I'm lucky I ran into you first thing, bro. Or else I would have been uh, I am out. You know, everyone says that she want to get on YouTube. I, you know, I started off with I am a camera. Yeah, that's the most. But I ran into Mamba. You feel me? So yeah. that started everything. I got like eight income sources. That's one of them. That's a high paid income source, but I make a lot of money off trading as well. Any one income source is enough for me to survive forever. So I was in the club the other day. Uh, I, was, I was watching the baby or whatever. He was doing a little performance. I took like 10 photos of people, but this girl came up to me and tried to get a photo. I was like, all right, whatever. But right when they went to snap the photo she tried to kiss me oh, and i was like yo what the fuck is you doing even if you got to sell your soul to get somewhere bro like you could still be on some christian welcome back to the traders club today i got mamba fx what's up bro how you doing what's going on bro how you been i'm good bro chilling you know let's get into some of these questions i got right here so how does your life look like before forex like like where'd you come from you know how was your upbringing yeah my life before forex it was cool it was whatever like i feel like i didn't have like the worst life i, I was with my mom yeah. I talked to my dad in a very long time, but uh, you know, it was cool. We didn't do a lot of things. Like we weren't able to like go to like, let's say Disneyland or stuff like that. We weren't yeah, super so. rich or nothing, but she had made enough money for us to survive in an apartment, things like that, but nothing crazy, not, nothing crazy. I was just doing whatever. Normal shit, yeah. yeah. Same thing with my dad, bro. Like he was always there, but like we didn't never really talk and shit. So it's always been me and my mom and shit like that. For sure. All right, bro. So I seen some shit going on with you and your girl. Like what's that all about? We, we've been going through it for a while now. I ain't got to get into too many details, but the, the, the quickest thing and easiest thing I can say is that we are not together right now and no more. Uh, I'm getting a new house right now. Actually, I'm in the process of getting you. I've been staying at hotels too lately. Damn. I was in Vegas. Now I'm out here. This weekend, I'm going to be living somewhere else. So, um, yeah, I don't want to get into too many details on, on any anything that happened or what's going on. I love her. I'm always love her. But at the end of the day, uh, it's time. I need to find my happiness, find myself too. Um, and that's what I'm going to be running right now. So, the situation with that that's it yeah that's what it is when you get like married fast or something like that like you like you really miss out on a lot of shit yeah but i mean you gain a lot of shit too but uh, yeah 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 no I, I like i said i'm grateful grateful for my children too but i'm really grateful because i wouldn't even be where i'm at now i wouldn't be successful as i am now she definitely helped me she was my backbone and stuff for those those years um so i definitely uh i definitely am grateful for that but it's a new chapter it's a new aspect of my life, and things are a little bit different now. Yeah, I feel the same way, bro. If I didn't meet my wife when I met her, bro, I still would have been in the streets, like, yeah, for sure, for sure, bro. Shit, bro. I probably would have sure, been locked sure. up. So. If I didn't meet her, bro, I would have had HIV by now. I would have had all <laughs> kinds of shit, bro. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It was getting crazy, but she helped yeah. me learn a lot. So I seen, you know, in the in the past, you had a house too, and then you lost it because it's the same situation. It's like, damn, bro, <laughs> it's two same houses. Si same situation, new girl. Yeah. Nah, it's it's not even close to that though. Um, the first situation was just I was really young, okay. stupid, mm -hmm. and I regret everything that happened. In this situation, I'm blessed. I'm happy. I'm grateful. It's it's a different, definitely a different situation, but it is funny that uh, it's very similar in the sense of kind of like the house and then not having the house yeah, and that's, that's just crazy. how it is yeah. but i'm also a good person too so I'm, I'm always willing to make sure that he's all right before i'm all right forever yeah that's just what yeah. it is but i'm about to get a house this weekend and uh be all right start grinding content again i'm really focused on that content and all that shit too i'm not trying to go do crazy shit but i'm about to just focus on myself yeah, I feel it, bro. I feel it. So I heard you worked at like Taco Bell, you know, I did. selling a little dope and shit. I and did. Shit. Yeah, I did. So I worked at Taco Bell. I worked at uh, Little Caesars, a little pizza joint. And then I did I did do some uh, some more illegal things. But for the most part, uh, it was when I was really young. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, because I, I, I became rich so young anyways. I started trading so young. So thankfully, I didn't have to do too much crazy shit growing up. Or uh, not even growing up, but as an adult. Yeah. I was already making cool money by like 19, so... Yeah, so what was, like, if you could say, like, is there a moment that made you, like, really, like, locked in on trading? And, like, was there a moment, like, maybe, you, like, you got evicted or something, and you are like, you know what, I got to really get this shit? Nah, nah so, the, so what really locked me into trading was when my first son was born. I feel yeah, like when, when he was born, I was, like, in a position where I needed to make money. I needed to do something. I needed to change my life because at the end of the day, what I was doing already and the money I was making already wasn't enough. It wasn't enough for one kid. I wanted more kids, and obviously I kept having kids, but uh, that's really what set my motivation off was my first son. Yeah. yeah, when I had my daughter, it was like, like I started to get scared. Like, I can't let her feel the life that we had, like yeah. being broke and hungry and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. So I was like, I even miss, like, I remember, like, the first month of my daughter's life, like, just in the room. Even though she's in the next room and I see her, like, you know, when I get off the charts, but I was like, I got to make this shit work. Yeah, yeah, you definitely. Me? So um, talk about how hard it is to be successful at Forex when you have a kid, because it's different. I feel like it's yeah. different for traders with kids and that don't have kids. Being successful with anything in life, it's a lot harder with kids. 
but it can also be more motivating. Yeah, it could okay. also give you more of a, a reason to to grind, to work harder. So it could it could give you a boost too if you look at it the right way. To me, life's all about looking at things the right way, whether it's because you have a kid or whatever the case may be. But if you look at things in the correct way, you could use any negative to find a positive outcome out of it, 100%. So yeah. Yeah, and I think that's a trait every like successful person has. Like they don't make no excuses. Like yeah. whatever it is, like, like you can't make no excuses. Like we use that shit as motivation to have a kid, but you know it also messes with your psychology. Like, right, right, right. If you're losing back to back and it's like bro like they're all depending on you like waiting for you to come out your trading room like did you win today yeah, i should definitely. really mess with you of course bro yeah so what was your why was that would you say that's your kid i would say my children it's a lot of other things now but in the beginning it was my children that was my biggest uh my biggest focus but i also wanted to help people i thought it'd be cool yeah i see you doing like a lot of giveaways that's something i do a lot too is do a lot of giveaways or i just help people in the street like mm -hmm. you know where does that come from that you want to give back even like you showing up to here like you don't gain nothing from this why do you do that yeah too? well yeah i seen you've been you've been fucking with the channel for a long time and i was like i'm gonna pay my respects too but when it comes to like giveaways and stuff like yeah, I like, to, I like to make people happy. I like to give people what they want. I think it's a good feeling. Yeah. Um, I like to see the people's reaction when I give them something that they want, or I, I like to know that I might have made a difference in yeah. one way or another, whether it's an iPad or it's cash or it's some food, whatever the case may be. I like to know I made a difference in some way. Yeah, so I'm not just living like an ordinary life that's just not you know giving to other people or not. If I can't help other people or change someone's life, then I feel like my life really don't have a lot of meaning. Yeah, because I'm already here. I already got it. I already made it. So yeah. I feel the same way, bro. I bought this nonprofit for my mom. Mm -hmm. So now she just donates like hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff to like people in Mexico. Oh yeah, and that's shit great. like that. Yeah. So that's I be on that shit like trying to give away. Like every month I do like uh, funding challenge giveaways. Got you. Yeah, you know, shit yeah, like bro. that. You just gotta give back and help people of out. Of course, bro. Did you have any other businesses before Forex? Did you try drop shipping or anything? Nah, nothing. Nothing like that? Nah. nah you lucky, bro. You found the winner the first yeah, time. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. I went through so much shit, bro. It was all bullshit. Wholesaling yeah. real estate. This shit didn't work. Yeah, hell yeah. It's a lot of a lot of stuff out there yeah, too. It's a lot of a bullshit. A lot of good stuff too, but so who'd you learn from when you started trading? Was there anyone uh, specific? No, I didn't really learn from nobody. I had a few different courses that I went through and stuff like that, but it was mostly YouTube and just like doing my own thing and just being in the markets for so long, but I really learned from nobody like that. There was nobody that like changed my game or yeah, made yeah, me yeah. any better than I am. What's your relationship with like these other traders, like you know Daniel I, Savage, I ain't got, Swaggy? I, yeah, I got no problems with nobody. Yeah, I, I just got off the phone with Raul too. Uh, yeah. He's a great guy too, uh, but they're all good guys, man. We're all doing our own thing. We all got other shit going on. You know, I never fault nobody for what they say, how they act, because we all got shit going on. We all got. We all going through breakups or we all going through, you know, it could be a, a alcohol addiction or it could be, it could be anything. A lot of, a lot of people going through a lot of stuff and that's nobody in particular. I, we've all done it. I've gone through alcohol problems. Yeah, uh, I know people have gone through alcohol problems. I know people have gone through breakups, baby mama drama. These things can change who you are and how you act to other people. I'm not worried about it. I'm living my life. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm doing my thing now and, and. I don't care what everyone else got going on, but I, but in terms of beef, nah, you can't have beef with me. I, I don't I do not do that beef shit. You'd have to do some real shit that really affects my money, affects my children. But saying something to me online, that shit ain't gonna get me for nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm laughing at that shit and I'm going straight to the bank with it. It don't mean nothing to me. And I notice you're really good at that shit too. Like you don't never respond. Like, I don't respond to nobody. Motherfuckers be trying, trying me all the time. I don't respond to, no, I don't got to. Yeah. Cause if I respond, I'm gonna give them what they want. They want the clout. Yeah. They know how big my name is. They just want me to say something so they can get some more views. Motherfuckers that be coming at me too, got no type of followers and nothing. And that's all they want. And I'm not with that shit. I don't care about none of that. So that ain't shit to me. Yeah, I know. I feel it. And I feel like a lot of people let the money go to their head too. They start feeling like, they're untouchable. And they start trying to turn this forex shit like they're in the streets or something, bro. Yeah, like, that shit crazy, that bro. That shit be tripping me out, bro. Like, all of a sudden, they just this super gangster. And it's like, Yeah, bro, man, that out, shit bro. crazy, bro. I don't know about none of that. I seen that you had someone pull up to your house. You Have you had any other? Yeah, bro, I had, some, I had somebody pull up to my house. I've had some incidents, bro. It's been getting a lot crazier, bro. I've been going out, getting seen everywhere. And, and I had some weirdos and stuff come up to me. I was in the club the other day. Uh, I, was, I was watching the baby or whatever. He was doing a little performance. I took, like, 10 photos of people. But this girl came up to me and tried to get a photo. I was like, all right, whatever. But right when they went to snap the photo, she tried to kiss me. Oh, and I was like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? I wasn't bad looking or anything, but I wasn't yeah. I wasn't feeling no, no kissing, that's for sure. But um, So that was weird. I won't lie. That was weird. That's different. That made me feel like a fucking Justin Bieber or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm like an A-list celebrity now. But um, other than that, people have pulled up to my house. People have tried to expose my address. I have been followed before for sure. But I'm well protected. I'm not worried about none of that. Yeah, I got eyes everywhere, and I got a, I got a lot. Yeah, we good.
We good on that. People sure. be doing dumb shit all the time, bro. Yeah. You know, we in LA, so like no one try to snatch your chain or nothing crazy like that. Like just try to grab that shit. So I got security with me most times, yeah. uh, most days, especially. And if I'm in LA, I'm in anywhere crazy. I got security with me. Yeah, you got to. Um, but I'm pretty well protected. Yeah, yeah. I'll be all right anywhere I go. Ain't, ain't nobody getting nothing. Yeah, that's fine. They could try, that's but they're going to get tracked down right away. So you got a lot of cars, bro. So I'm thinking about getting my first like luxury car. Who suggests? Because you got everything, bro. It depends on the price range, though. Let's say like two, three hundred thousand. Two, three hundred thousand. It depends, though, like what you're trying to do. Uh, if you want to have enough room for the whole family, if you want to be like, you know what I'm saying, Lamborghini type shit, like what are you feeling? Family for sure. Bro. Family for sure. Yeah. Two, three hundred thousand. Uh, I'm probably going Urus. Yeah, I'm probably going Urus to start. I like the Urus because the Ghost and shit is nice. It's a little bit up there. That's like four or five hundred thousand. Actually, four or five. I just got a Ghost. It was four hundred. Damn, that's a house, bro. Yeah, it's a house for sure, for sure. That's crazy. That's Speaking fire, of houses, <laughs> that shit, that shit get me excited. I always hear you talk about like you be praying and shit like that. I'm big on God and like the law of attraction Most and definitely. affirmations. Are you a Christian? Like, what are you? Yeah, I'm a Christian. Yeah, I'm into God. I'm definitely a Christian. You feel like that's helped you a lot? I feel like it has, bro. I feel like it has. Yeah. Even if you got to sell your soul to get somewhere, bro, like, you can still be on some Christian. But I'll be, I'll be trying to tell people, like, like once you start praying and shit, like, the, the blessings that come, just, it's obvious that it's, like, him. It's not, like, it's not normal shit. Yeah, I hear you. All right, so transparency with um, signals and, you know, making money off that stuff. Because a lot of people try to hide that shit. Like, yeah. I don't know why. I don't, I don't care about none of that, bro. Like, I always say it, too. Like, I make money off signals all day. I don't care. Um, it's nothing to hide. Um, I got, like... Eight income sources. That's one of them. That's a high paid income source, but I make a lot of money off trading as well. I make a lot of money off of everything. My affiliates, my YouTube channel. I'm making money from everyone. I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm happy with it. Yeah, I don't see what the hate. problem is. It ain't no problem. At the end of the day, if I'm a trader and, I, and people want to take the same trades as me because they see my success, then they can. And if they don't want to, then they don't have to. Any one income source is enough for me to survive forever. So yeah, okay. I'm cool with everything I got. Yeah. All right, now let's get into some trading questions because I already know that's what most of my questions were is about your strategy and shit like For that. For sure. What was your favorite time frames and, and pairs to trade? My favorite time frames uh, and pairs to trade. Uh, you know, I, I trade US 30 100% of the time. Five minute, one minute. Breakout strategy, same as usual. Volume strategy. Uh, every single New York session, and that's about it for me. Well, I trade. I also trade gold, but US 30 is my, like my pair that the bread and I eat on. Yeah, that's yeah. why I make my money. Okay, yeah. bet. And um, I seen in a video you said you like for price to show its hand before you enter a trade. What, yeah. what are you looking for? Like momentum? I'm looking for volume, and then I'm looking for momentum to uh, to to upside or downside based upon a breakout. If I get that support resistance break, I have volume, I feel good. Man, I'm gonna take my trade and I'm gonna get out really fast. Yeah, I'm pretty much just going with the flow, and that's it. Trying to catch yeah. that move. What ways is there to like avoid fake outs? Uh, I don't really think there's a way to avoid fake outs like that. If you take your loss. You got to be able to distinguish, is it, is it okay to get in again or not? What's one mistake that you see, like, a lot of people making with your strategy? Uh, I don't pay attention a lot. I don't. A lot of people don't send me, like, them trading as much as they used to. A common mistake is taking, like, six trades, seven trades a day. That's ridiculous. Um, chasing a, a really choppy market is a mistake a lot of traders make. But in terms of that I see with my strategy, I don't see a lot. But I think, like I said, choppy markets, impatient and just going and going and going. It's just going to kill your account. Uh, let's say they make some money and the next day they lose half that, they'll chase that shit and they'll go three, yeah. four, five, six trades. You just can't do it. You just you literally can't afford to do that in this industry. That's the problem. I think that's the biggest issue most people have because I had the same issue. Yeah, and that's why I just be telling people, like, you just got to stop being a bitch. Like, uh, if you lose the trade, bro, like, get the fuck off the computer. Like, yeah. why do you keep, like, oh, I got to make it back and, like, bro, just get off. Like, yeah, just get off. Yeah, just get off and go hang out with, yeah. with your homie or something. Do yeah, something, go hang bro. out with your chick. You yeah. know, go watch porn, do something, bro. Like, just get off the charts, bro. Yeah, I'm lucky I ran into you first thing, bro. Or else I would have been uh, I am out. You know, everyone says that shit when they get on YouTube. I, you know, I started off with I am a Yeah, that's the most. But I ran do. into Mamba. You feel me? So yeah. that started everything. Yeah, you know, actually, um, when I got my first withdrawal was with your breakout strategy. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you know when you get your first withdrawal, you're like, okay, this shit is real now. Yeah, like, of course, not, bro. It's not fake. Hell yeah. So once I got that shit, it was like it was over with. I mean, I lost my account like the next week, but yeah, that's just sucks, you know. What I mean, what, what I know now is that you know I switched something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you might have a losing week, and you're like, oh, let me get a better entry on the one minute, and it ends up fucking up the whole strategy. Right, right, right. Yeah, 100. Yeah. percent So that's why I be trying to tell people like, if someone says like, oh, my strategy don't work or yours don't work, it's probably because they're switching something after they lose one. Yeah, time. definitely. Yeah, 100. percent Did you have a, uh, another YouTube channel before this channel? I have been trying to do YouTube my whole life for sure, like little shit here and there, nothing big though, nothing crazy, nothing on a, on a big scale. I tried to do vlogs and shit like that for a while, but yeah, nothing crazy. I did gaming. I did some gaming channels as well. 
Okay, man. but I've always been trying to be like be something in life, social media wise, yeah. trying to be big on YouTube, whatever. I had a family channel with my wife, but that shit ain't never did nothing. So the family stuff stuff. Yeah, and that's sure, doing sure. pranks and shit like that. Shit yeah, that crazy. shit's tough. I did some shit like that. What do you think makes your channel like blow up rather than other people's? I think I'm genuine. I think I'm funny. They they mess with the vibe, the style, the tattoos, all that shit. I'm not bullshit mm -hmm. either. I just say I say it how it is. I'm not I'm not wearing no suit. I'm living my life, and it's about to get crazier now. Now I'm really about to show y'all what like what I'm really about. Like vlogging all every week and like showing you my lifestyle. Now it's gonna be a lot different than what it was, but. I think people just, yeah, I think people just, they fuck with the authenticity for sure. Yeah, yeah I, have, I feel yeah. it. All right, so have you had any, like, losing streaks where it made you, like, start panicking? Obviously, it was probably, like, a long time ago because I seen you just went on a crazy win streak. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't I don't panic anymore, but I, I got on losing streaks for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. everybody does. Um, just the other day, or just not the other day, I think it was last month, I went on a little losing streak. It wasn't the greatest. But overall, the month was profitable, as usual. But back in the day, yeah, I got on a lot of losing streaks and been like, damn, I'm going to just quit. Cause this shit's starting to hurt, starting to hurt the bank. Losing streaks don't make me panic. Nothing makes me panic when trading, bro. That's why I'm so good at it now. Yeah, and I be trying to tell people like, once you have like money in the bank, like it's not so hard to trade no more. Like when you're broke and you have to perform that month, it's that a lot should more be pressure. Hard. Yeah, fact. But once you already have money, it's like, who cares if I? I might not even trade today. Like, yeah, you know I mean, for sure, for sure. But yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty much all the questions I got, bro. That's all the questions I had on Instagram. For sure, bro. You feel me? I appreciate you for pulling up. Of course, bro. You know, hopefully we could do another video soon, maybe showing your cars or some shit. I want to go check out that Rolls Royce right For now. sure, bro. Let's check it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I appreciate you, bro. All right, bro. For sure. Appreciate you having me on, bro. Appreciate the support. Like I said, I've been seeing you uh, post videos about me and stuff, too, for a while, and I've seen the love, so. Yeah, I always show credit, bro. I always give credit. For sure, bro. Yeah, I just want to tap in with you, too. Get, get, this, get this done, bro. But for sure, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate y'all watching. All right. See you guys next time. Peace.